Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Talking Shit. It's the 5th of January. Uh, I'm DeAndre, uh, just trying to uh, be on alert this morning. Apparently, uh, the mayor of New York City uh, had his back, uh, had the cops turn their back on him again at another speaking engagement for a fallen uh, cop. Uh, and the police department, uh, the commissioner of that police department has asked uh, the people, you know, the cops to be more cooperative. And, you know, much like the Israeli government, um, uh, these people, these cops are balking at investigation or uh, upset about people inquiring things and, you know, using any or uh, one small comment to uh, promote the ignorance of uh, what doesn't really need to be spent, you know. And basically, I feel that this exceptionalism from both the NYPD and, and the Israeli government uh, is parallel. It's kind of frightening to assume that those in the world today who take on the position of authority or law enforcement or governing uh, fails to want to be investigated when we have uh, the third ranking member of the Republican Party in our country, you know, speaking before the Ku Klux Klan. You have another congressman who was just indicted and found guilty of uh, uh, tax evasion and had to step down from his commitment to serve the government. But yet these bodies of people, even though the Israeli government is not a part of our government, three billion dollars uh, kind of, you know, we outsource some money to them. <laughs> it's almost like they're part of the government. We're giving them three billion dollars a year to kill all these children over in, uh, in the Gaza Strip. So why is everybody all upset about inquiry? Why is everybody all upset about questions? Why is everybody all bitchy and itchy and kind of witchy about uh, somebody asking somebody some motherfucking questions? Mayor de Blasio simply uh, said that, 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 that there's some things that need to be examined, that people need to be trained properly. Uh, 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 the idea that just because somebody asks you something, me, you got to be uh, rude about everything uh, is it, it, ridiculous. This infantile, little spoiled child, whining, bitching style of the current body of the New York Police Department is very similar to the arrogance of Netanyahu over there in Israel with that government not doing what they're supposed to do. Apparently, the Israeli government is upset because uh, Mahmoud Abbas has said, we're going to go to the international courts uh, uh, and we're going to sign up and petition with that system to get y'all to quit murdering us at infinitum. See, he's going to ask some questions by way of a legal body that helps with the world in regards to law and humanity. And somehow they're basically saying that he's experiencing insanity. I mean, what is the problem with asking about problems when there's a problem? See, there's a problem with killing children. There's a problem with blowing up UN schools. There's a problem with killing black men who are young and unarmed. Those are problems. We should be asking questions about problems. When there's a problem, that means there needs to be some help and some inquiry. I don't understand these people. You know, it's ridiculous uh, to assume that we get to openly disrespect Mayor de Blasio uh, simply due to the fact that his young black son was warned by his dad to watch your manners and watch your attitude with the police. And everybody who's black gets that talking to when you're a young black male. My mother talked to us about it. You know, the LAPD, when they killed, the, you know, they shot that boy in the back and everything. It's like you see these blatant facts when a policeman drives up and shoots a 12-year-old boy with a toy gun. When the police show up and tackle and get and kill and murder somebody in the Walmart with a BB gun, you see what happens when folks don't even know if the man got a loose cigarette or is it time to uh, kill him and choke him down so he can't breathe yet. I mean, what are we supposed to do to have a legitimacy to, to have something to ask you? 
if you are in a position of authority. You know, as if this, this exceptionalism must stop. This exceptionalism is a false psychotic belief that gives people in power some sort of an alienable right when it comes to rights, uh, 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 some sort of relief that they don't have to answer to certain things. You know, and I think that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Why can't we ask Fox News? Why do they keep calling themselves a news station if they've been, uh, been recognized as entertainment? Why do they keep calling themselves the news outfit? They are not news. They're entertainment. They lie and bullshit and twist things. Why are we not allowed to ask questions about that? Why is that inappropriate? What is the fucking problem? What is the problem? What is the problem? Let's ask questions about a problem. A problem is a question, technically. If there's a problem, there's a question about something. That's what they call a question. It's a problem. It's something that can be solved or looked at or asked about or investigated. It's ridiculous. It, 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 it's, it's crazy. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? The NYPD has a plethora of stories and incidents in regards to brutality and harassment. And if I hear one more word from Patrick Lynch... I'm going to f collapse. I'm so sick of his ass. Patrick Lynch is the president of the New York Police Department Union who has incited all of this sort of rebellion in regards to the police department. And he is the one who is, uh, you know, fertilizing uh, this situation with his personal bullshit. Uh, that's all the time. <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, they're killing these kids in Gaza. Stop killing these kids. Now, that's bullshit. Now, if you got a problem with the Hamas government, settle that by way of not killing the children. And how come there's been this mass amount of evidence about these bombs? That Hamas, they say Hamas is murdering all these people. 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 Where? Where? All I keep seeing is the dead Gaza people. All I keep seeing is the dead Palestinians. And if they are being killed, it's still not right. Hamas isn't right either. How are you going to make Hamas wrong by you doing the wrong thing too? My God, you know, the Israeli government has an ATM card, and that acronym stands for Apprehend, Torture, and Murder. That's the ATM card that the Israeli government has gotten from the United States. It's a $3 billion access code to the same sort of Nazi mode that their fucking government is operating on. And the New York Police Department and all of this exceptionalism has got to stop. And fuck Fox News. Fuck them. I mean, fuck Fox News. 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 Everybody sing it with me. Go. Fuck Fox News. 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 Fuck Fox News! Fuck Fox News! Fuck Fox News! See you when it's time to eat. <laughs>